Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is another Watcher of Realms video. It is 0705 Monday, January the 15th, and it is Faction Trials time. Very, very quickly, let's go to the Pantheon and discuss why it's important. When you beat Faction Trials every day, you get Insignias. Those Insignias boost your Pantheon levels. These Pantheon levels give you stat bonuses, as you can see on the right, uh, that are given to every single hero in your roster in all content of the game. It is a massive boost for your account. So do your Faction Trials. Do them every day. Progress in them as fast as possible, okay? At this point, I've got step-by-step -step walkthroughs on all of them, I believe, except for one at the time of this recording, if you watch it today. Um, the other one will be done in a couple days when it opens but they're one-stop shops. They completely walk you through step-by-step -step how I was able to clear the content the first time, some of the struggles that I had to work out, different champs that you can use if you don't have the ones I use, whatever the case may be. So let's go to Infernal. Uh, Infernal stage 12, clear the stage with soul core intact and with all heroes alive. So this can be tricky if you're trying to clear this for the first time. Um, but you don't have to do it in one run if you can't. You can do it in two runs. You can do it once with the soul core intact, um, say at the very end, Titus is going to die and you despawn him. You let one or two, uh, um, or excuse me, sorry, I've got it backwards with the soul core intact. So no monsters get through. So say you have to sacrifice Titus to get some extra DPS. So you kill them all at the end. Um, soul core is intact, but you didn't clear with all heroes alive because Titus died. Next time you run through, you can just despawn Titus, let one or two through whatever the case may be. Uh, and then all heroes stay alive, but the soul core wasn't intact. But together, you get both of them, and you get power of dominance. So that's what I had to do. Maybe you'll need to do that too. Let's go to the roster. So <clears throat> this is what I used, excuse me, the first time. Haven't tested Anai yet. She's a new champ. Um, I've heard people use Brunor for this, for the top mob. I haven't tested him yet. Um, and Aelin, Aelin is a new healer, massive, massive heals. If you have her, awesome. That'll help keeping Titus alive. Um, but, uh, I didn't have her when I cleared this the first time. You don't need her. You just, uh, it's a little tougher. Okay. The hardest part here is that you basically need Pyros or Twin Fiend for nukes on the boss. I haven't seen it cleared without them. I don't know if it can be. I haven't tested it. If you've seen it done, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll do some testing in the next week or two. Let's sit down. So this is a little bit more stable. So I'm going to show you with Twin Fiend, but I've seen it done with Pyros also. MVP here for me was Soleil up here. Uh, so Leal puts out some, some decent damage. I used her to, to kill that top mob, the top right mob. I'll show you that. Let's get to this. So the big thing that you want to do is you want to use, so I use that from facing left so that he can hit the boss and the mob coming around the bottom. I've seen people use him facing up so that he can take out the boss and the top mob, but I'm using so Leal for that. So kind of depending on your roster and the champs you have and the ones that you're using, you got to play around with what what you'll have to do in order to where you'll have to make up DPS for. Let's get Zilla 2 down. Infernal is hard. I think Infernal easily is the hardest faction trial 12 to do because you you basically need a lord. You basically need Cetrum and you basically need Zilla 2. Um, maybe I'll do some testing to see if it can be done without them. But it's tough for sure. Let's get... Twin Fiend down, and uh, Twin Fiend, the big thing that I want here, I want to, I want his ult to hit before this shield pops up, so that the ult nuke takes out his health, there we go, just like that, and then Cetrum can take out the shield, because if the shield, if I don't destroy the shield, then he gets a big heal afterwards. So let's get um, Nocturne down here so he can take out the bottom side. We almost got him down. I'm not going to be able to get him down before. You basically need to do it in three. So I won't be able to get this shield down because Cetrum's not back up. But I will be able to... Um, I'll have everyone up for the next time. Let's get Titus down. Let's get... Bottom down for extra damage. Nocturne ult on the boss. I'm not even using Solil right now, so let's see. I I really need Cetrum's ult. Really, really badly. 
So let's see if, let's put Solil down, we'll, and for the next one, we will use Cetrum and Twin Fiends ult. Now I gotta kill this top mob. There we go. Let's use everyone's ults. Cetrum is held up here. It's okay. Oh, I didn't get it done in time. That's okay. Come on. So Salil's doing work up top with twin. There we go. Once he's down, you despawn your lord, whoever it was that was giving you the nukes, and you start placing everyone else to help clear either the top content or the bottom content, whichever one you're going to struggle with. So Cetrum is still here to attack these guys coming around the left side. Titus, uh, keep him alive, right? If you have Aelin, awesome. If you don't, then you don't. But if you do his ult, he'll start regaining some health. He has uh, one of a passive where once he dies the first time, he'll stay alive, he'll regen back to full health. That's once per deployment if you have time. Uh, you probably won't have time to do it a second time. But uh, as long as you're paying attention to whether you're trying to clear the content with everyone alive or with the soul core intact, and you either leave him there or despawn him appropriately, I don't need... Uh, I can use Autumn. I don't need Solil anymore. Someone needs help with their account. Cool, I will help you momentarily. Uh, let's see here. Let's get some attack boost on Nocturne. Let's get Twin Fiend. Twin Fiend can do this final nuke. Oh, looks like there won't even need to be time. Eh, yeah, Nocturne hit him before the nuke happened. Uh, but that's what it is. So big things. Use your use your Lord's nuke before the boss's shield is up because that will take out uh, actual health. And then Cetrum's ult is what you use to eat the shield. So um, it's going to take a couple. It's going to take a little tweaking. The other thing, right, that nuke gets bigger the more allies are on the map up to a maximum. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. So fiddle with the placements of that, right? Depending on the cost of the champs that you're using, you might be able to place an extra unit right before the nuke to make the nuke better. Different things to think about. I needed Autumn and, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. I needed Autumn and Dolores both boosting that top right corner in order to stay alive, and Solil was absolutely MVP for me. So uh, I hope this helped you. If it did, please support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Uh, that's all I have for this video, so I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for your time.